Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mouse and today I will be looking at this Seven Sins game again and um, but this time I will be doing as I said in the previous episode while I was looking at the file format and writing a mech script uh, but now actually changing stuff in this uh, game uh, so you can see me open up the data uh, pack file with this particular script and um, I use this on this data file and I said at the end of the last episode this could be also used probably to change some of these files so to do an easy modding of this game so I think it could be a good opportunity to to actually see that it works and let's just um, do that right now so I prepped a couple of files for this. What I did is to be able to see some that something works, you know, you change something and you create an easy mod, which you can do with a multi x commander, you create a standalone mod. Um, you want to see something change. I mean, you can use this multi x editor to change stuff in this file, or you can use this particular window. Uh, and then feed that to this easy mod creator which creates a standalone mod that you can use at later times to change the file that you're interested in. So let's just do right that. So if we look at this uh, we see a lot of files and the interesting thing to change just to see that it works is some graphics files obviously and something that you can see early on in the game. That won't be easy. Well, let that will be preferred. Like here, you can see the files. Let me see if I can actually find this preview window. Yeah, right there. And uh, let's see. Let's do it like this. Let's see what's going on. So, I prepped a number of files. If you look at this, you can extract all of these uh, graphics files. And this is uh, so if you compare this with the uh, actual file you can see these are the the folders that I used I just extracted all of these uh, PNG files I put them here so you can see that this actually works right so you can extract stuff now interesting this is one this is one I changed so this is an if you start a tutorial in this game you will see this one and um, uh, let's see, I changed a couple of other files as well. Go down here, yes. Yeah, so, 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 this is a load screen. I added Markiplier. I don't know if you know him. Uh, I am used to watching a lot of videos from this guy, he plays games a lot and um, does this quite nicely. Um, so this one I changed as well, which is the main menu, probably background, and then there's this start. I am unaware if this is something, but at least I made a couple of changes to these as well, so we can see whether that works. And just to be on the safe side, I know there's also PC, and there's a PlayStation 2, and uh, I'll just leave this one alone, so it should not change, it should not influence anything. And um, let me just see if I change something here as well. Yeah, I changed these same files and this just just to be on the safe side, but I don't think that it will work or be needed. But let's just do it anyway. So go to the multi X editor. Go to these particular files. So like I said, I was going to change the tutorial main startup screen, which is this one. I'm going to replace it with um the file I used or actually I changed so it was in HUD and it was area tutorial this one okay so that's now targeted for replacement right just like you used to then I had some other stuff that I changed uh, let's go back to the to this one, this PlayStation 2 PC HUD. Mm. 
these to HUD SC load. HUD SC load. Where are we going? Here we go. If you see SC load. load let's see we gotta change this you made as well Oops. and start I replaced go that should work what else did I I did change the number of screens. I remember I changed some screens just so also be on the safe side here. The textures go up. Oops, go down. Yeah, these. So I'm unaware if this will change anything. Actually, I don't think so. So, seven sins. Intro seven sins. I already tried the game. Well, anyway, let's just change this. Um, you see screens. Make it the same like this. And like that. Alright, so now we s we've got them all set, so we're not running on a PlayStation 2, so I'm not going to imagine that changing those files will change anything for the file on a PC, right? Okay, so now it's pretty, pretty. so we've got a number of files that are targeted for replacement right here, <coughs> and now we're going to create this, this marker plier 7 sins mod, which is nothing, it's just replacement of some graphics. Click on Game Root Folders, uh, click on New Game Folder, and make sure you point to the Game Folder, where, so the main Game Folder of this particular game, in this case Seven Sins. Then click on this one and say Add Active Edited File, so this one. This All this information will now be transferred to this Easy Mod file, so Add Active Edited File. It's doing it right now. Okay, good. So that's done, and now you can actually create the easy mod. So create, let's say the mar, yeah, Markiplier mod. Wait for it. Now you have a zip file, Markiplier. Um, seven cents. Oh, I didn't even have to. I, I just saved it, you know, of course, in the save folder. All right, good. Now we're done. Now we have a standalone mod right here. I'm just going to check a little bit. Just checking that nothing actually changed because of this, what I did. Go to the screens, for instance. No, nothing tastes good. Right, we close this one. Close multi command. We don't actually need it now. Go to the game file. So, like I said, we've got Markiplier 7 since the mod that we created here. So I'm just going to extract this. What you should usually do if you have a standalone mod, you extract it in the game folder. So now I've got easy mod. Just gonna make sure I run an administrator for this particular. I don't know if that does anything. But let's just start it. Waiting for it. What I did is actually it installed this easy mod. Something's going on. 
wait for it because I think it's still doing something. There we go. So Easy Mod says now this program will install the Easy Mod, which is called Markiplier Seven Sins. It found the file to change, and the signature of that file is valid. So it's ready to go. So we start. Mod complete. Well, let's see if that is actually true. Right? Okay, shall we? So what you see now is you have a backup file of the original file. And this is the change file. And uh, this was something that was installed by the easy mod uh, zip file, this one as well, and this one as well. Okay. So let's just take a look and see if what they'll bring us. Let's run 17, shall we? Let's see what happens. Here we go. That actually works. Need to click to go to the main screen. I had very uh, a lot of problems getting this program to run though. Because it doesn't like Windows 8 at all. So I'm just waiting for the main menu to show. It's still loading. You see Markiplier here. I've lost my mouse control. You see Mr. Trollface giving you the finger. And as you can see also the uh, this actually works. You can see Markiplier being amazed at this bad game. And this is our form. Now let's see if we can go to the tutorial. Yeah, that works. So you can see that that actually worked, right? So uh, let me just quit this game now. And um, so all in all, you can now just distribute this standalone mod, this easy mod to anyone who has this game to apply those changes. Okay. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.